We're in the amphitheater garden. It has a 150 seat amphitheater with a nice shade structure that was donated uh, by the Poe family here a few years ago. And it also faces into the uh, undergraduate learning center patio, which when it was constructed in the, in, uh, the late 90s was the largest uh, facility, state facility in Texas, um, landscaped with native plants. So that, those native plantings are now incorporated into the garden and we do our best to maintain them as well. We feature things like the Mexican plum, nice mesquites. In the terrace garden, we have a beautiful specimen of the Mexican pistache. Yes, it is a pistachio, but the fruit are, are not edible. Uh, it's an evergreen and would make a wonderful landscape plant here. It's available commercially from Tex uh, Central Texas growers, so you have to special order it, but it's worth the effort. I would also like to point out the little red flowering pinstemon, another great hummingbird plant. And this one does bloom into the summer. It's just beginning its bloom. Most pinstemons bloom in the spring or in the fall. This one will also bloom into the summertime. This is Pinstemon baracifolius, sold under the trade name Del Rio. You'll notice on most hummingbird plants that they have long tubular flowers. The long tubular flowers are held on long stems above the bulk of the plant so that hummingbirds can hover and not endanger their wings. Uh, that's always a good mark of a hummingbird plant. Hummingbirds are also attracted to flowers of other colors. It's just that they see red, as do most of us, see reds the best. And we also have a very fine specimen of the Chisos rosewood. There are three commercially available rosewoods that make very fine shrubs with beautiful white flowers in the early spring. Uh, they're evergreen. Uh, and uh, the three species, or the, the three selections, are the Arizona rosewood, the, the Nueva Leon rosewood, and the Chisos rosewood. But they all have these long, dark green leaves and the, the umbels of white flowers in the spring that I mentioned before. Excellent choices for, for landscaping in our region. This is a plant called Zexmenia in most of the trade. It's current botanical name is Wadelia hispida, but I want to use it to illustrate good butterfly attracting plants. Again, you notice the flowers are held well up above the, uh, the stems and the leaves on long stems. This is again so that butterflies do not uh, injure their fragile wings and that, that also they particularly like what we call composite flowers which are generally flowers in the sunflower family because they can land on one flower and it's actually a, con a collection of a whole bunch of small flowers, each one with its individual nectary, and it's like going to lubies for butterflies.